Hello. Um, whilst the job of a layout engineer is incredibly challenging, I guess at a very fundamental level, it really involves drawing shapes, pushing polygons. And I think that's what I want to talk about today. It's those shapes. Um, understanding the layers that we use in the layout is absolutely critical to making good decisions. And one of the layers I want to talk about straight away is this layer called OD, if you're on TSMC, or RX if you're on Global Foundries. But what is this layer? Um, when I started doing layout, um, I started with using an ST microelectronics process um, 25 years ago, and we called the layer active. And it's had different names over the years. I've seen it called diff on some processes. So they might even differentiate between N diff and P diff. They've all had different layers, but what are different names and different colors? But what actually is the layer? I guess the key thing is um, this layer is not diffusion. And that's really what I want to talk about now, because I think that's probably one of the most misunderstood things. It is not actually diffusion. If we come along and we actually just basically take a transistor, and in this case, we've got our RX or OD layer, we've got our poly layer, and then around this, we've got basically N+. We have one rectangle of OD that we draw, and across that OD, we're intersecting it with poly. If we look at what the actual OD is, I think that's the, the key thing. So everywhere, field oxide is deposited. And field oxide is a vertically thick oxide layer to reduce capacitive coupling of conductors to substrate. But what this OD layer is, is it removes this oxide. And that's all it is. OD is just a hole. Nothing more. It's just a hole in field oxide. And of course, what happens now is we now basically come along and assuming it's a self-aligned process, which most bulk CMOS processes are, the poly gets deposited next. And then effectively what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and now after the implant layer, we get N plus diffusion. But the diffusion needs basically the opening in oxide and the N plus. And in this case, what's quite interesting is we're putting down the poly first. Poly is deposited first and the poly blocks the oxide or blocks the diffusion in this region. And that's what allows us create effectively the channel. So while we have drawn one piece of OD, we end up with two pieces of diffusion that are fabricated. And that's why OD is not diffusion. I think that's the key thing. If you're ever doing a layout, regardless of your, whether you're using P cells or not using P cells, you should always, always, always know the layers that you're using and understand them. So that's it. Quick one today. Thank you very much for your attention and hopefully you'll check out another video soon.